Every eight minutes and 14 seconds, a Tunisian dies. Seven an hour, 175 a day, 62,228 a year. Most have never heard that God loves them, that Jesus died for them, that his resurrection from the dead conquered sin, shame, fear, and death. No one has ever told them he tasted death so they wouldn't have to. Funerals in Tunisia are hopeless events filled with wailing, grief, and sadness. Islam offers no assurance of salvation and no hope for eternity for those who pursue its hollow superstitions. It reminds all involved of the desperation lying under the surface. The only way the 10 million souls in Tunisia would be able to know hope, to secure their eternity, to walk in victory over sin, death, and the grave is through the rapid reproduction of believers and churches. The Samaritan woman encountered Jesus, believed him, and ran and told everyone in her village about him. Lord, we ask for similar responses among Tunisians. May believers grasp the essence of your church in its simplest form with a model that is quickly reproducible. Free the Tunisian church from any non-essential elements that would encumber her ministry or slow down the movement of your spirit. Bring believers into an agreement with you about the speed at which you would establish your church in Tunisia. Don't let the church be content in any plan that will fail to reach this generation.